what's going on everybody it's your boy ace here back with another props video yesterday i did not have a prop video because i think the past two videos i had one nfl play in each of those videos and they both played on sunday so i didn't have like really too much to add to those videos until i like found props later last night and then i didn't want to do a youtube video because i already had two plays out technically i still hadn't played so i didn't do a youtube video i just kept the i think the two that i put in the videos were zamir rush attempts and laporta fantasy score i believe uh so i just stuck with those and then i just did the rest all for the discord so today was for the discord we had a profitable day let's get into it so let's get into the bad first so we'll talk about the bad and then we'll talk about the good so we had two juiced money lines so these money lines were like minus 190 minus 180 ish we had the dolphins money line which was sweatier than it was supposed to be i'll tell you that that was that was super sweaty but dolphins ended up hitting a game winning field goal so that was nice we cashed that and then the <clears throat> excuse me jesus and then the falcons money line that unfortunately chalk kirk cousins played like shit the falcons play like shit uh they look bad like like panic worthy bad it's only week one so it, it we're probably overreacting but kirk does not look good off of that acl so that might be a problem for the falcons um yeah they look like shit but they lost to the steelers so they chalked that money line so we went one and one on those so that was uh that sucked and then prize picks we went two and two we cashed Josh Allen over 22 fantasy score, which was actually the first NFL prop that I posted in the Discord for the whole year. I posted that like four or five days ago or something. So that was the first NFL prop I posted of the year, and that was a cash. So that was technically the first prop that I posted cashed. Uh, K9, so Kenneth Walker over 12 and a half fantasy score that cashed. Zamir White over 14 and a half rush attempts. Man, that was a brutal chalk. Uh, he had 13, so he only chalked by two. Um, uh, out snapped by his backup alexander madison i believe had have it pulled up on my second monitor alexander madison had um 36 snaps and zamir white only had 23 snaps so zamir white only had 23 snaps but he had 13 carries so his like usage was insanely high but he got out snapped by the backup i Right, Antonio Pierce, he p pissed me off because most of that play was just based off what the coach has been saying all offseason, and he was just bullshit. And he was a fucking pussy. He punted on fourth and one in Chargers territory when they were down by six, like seven minutes. Like, bro, there are so many things that went wrong with that prop that shouldn't have gone wrong. Then that shit, that shit should have been an easy cash if you guys were watching that. But unfortunately, it did not cash. We can't win everything, but that that one was super annoying. And then Laporta over 12 fantasy score. He just didn't really get targeted that much. It was a, it was kind of a weird game. Like offenses, they, the Lions ran a fuck ton, so they didn't really throw it that much. And Amon Ra was like went ghost. Jamo had a crazy game. Laporta barely got targeted. Um, so that one shocked. So we went two on two on prize picks, but we did lose the one unit play, so we lost um somewhat like barely. Uh, units there probably like half or one unit there of a loss and then on DraftKings and FanDuel we went crazy on DraftKings and FanDuel we went six and one we went up four units today one day on the first Sunday of the year we went up four units on DraftKings and FanDuel I had a uh, FanDuel slip Texans money line plus James Cook 25 plus rushing yards cash that minus 126 slip and then I had a DraftKings slip this one was a very nice hit we had Kyron touchdown and cup touchdown Plus 365 slip, no sweat bet on that one. That one hit. That was super. That was a super nice cash. That cup touchdown. That was super hype. So I'm really, I'm really proud of that slip. Plus 365. So we made almost two units just off that one slip. James Cook over 13 and a half rush attempts was actually something that I added, literally like at two in the morning today, like six out, or eight hours before um, game game time. Posted that super super late. I found it. I was like, oh, I kind of like this, so I, I posted it and it hit. So that I really like that play. That one cashed as well. Took that out on DraftKings minus one twenty five. Jaden Daniels over eighty one and a half rush yards at halftime. I posted that in the Discord halftime live. So let's see where I posted that. Um, this one right here. Jaden Daniels over eighty one and a half rushing yards. Excuse me. Um, at halftime, so that was a live play that I posted in the Discord. You have to be in the Discord for all my plays, especially the live ones, because you know there isn't much time at halftime. There's like 10 minutes or 15 minutes that you get to lock it in by the time I post it. So that one was really nice. I believe he had like 60 
uh, rushing yards or like, yeah, something like 60 rushing yards or something at halftime. So that was like a really good line. I like that a lot. That one hit. Um, let's see, where was James Cook? James Cook was right here. Added it at like 2 a.m. That one cashed. And then the Kyron and Cup touchdown slip right here. Kyron, Cooper Cup, plus 365. And then the Texans money line with James Cook. This one cashed right here. And then what were the other ones? Uh, Cooper Cup, 11 plus receptions. That one was a live one as well, which I posted in the plus play section. Cooper Cup, 11 plus receptions. He had six at half and Puka was injured and the the Rams were losing. So it was kind of obvious play. I have no idea why that was plus 126, um, but a ton of value there. I believe it was plus 110 on DraftKings when I found it at plus 126 on FanDuel. And I was like, this is just amazing. I don't know why we're getting this value on such a perfect game script prop. And that cash super easy, so I'm very proud of that cash as well. So we went six in one on our DraftKings and uh, DraftKings and FanDuel slips. So really, really good. We made four units there. We probably lost like one ish units on the prize picks and juice money lines, but we profited on the day. So that's all that matters. Really, really good day on DraftKings and FanDuel. Really good day for Week One too, because Week One is always going to be the most unpredictable week. It's uh, like props are always going to get better. Um, or at least the write-ups are going to be more reasonable and have more data to back it up as um, as the season progresses. So I'm very happy with this week one performance uh, for props. I know I've been yapping, but I, I need to show you guys all the greens so people people can join because uh, some people be saying that they win and they don't even show their slips. It's like, come on, bro. Uh, but yeah, Josh Allen fantasy. Saquon fantasy was a lean that cashed. This was an optimizer slip, so that cashed as well. Pretty easy. My boy Kenneth tailed Josh Allen. He put it with Jaden Daniels. Fantasy score his own prop. That one cashed easy. My boy JD5. Uh, my boy Yumi tailed my Keon Coleman lean. My boy Demon Raging tailed a lot today. This was his own slip. Uh, Josh Allen fantasy score. He took it on underdog. Uh, that was his own slip. He took my Laporta alt line with Saquon touchdown. I posted this as well for a little 2x. Texans money line. He uh, paired it with his own play. Jonathan Taylor touchdown. So he cashed out today. My boy Smiley Goldfish did his own plays as well. Um, this slip was a bunch of my plays. He did, Connor was his own. Zeke was his own. Keon was mine. Cook was mine. Zamir was mine. Watt, Jones was his. So we went 2x on that little collab slip, I guess. And then these were some of the slips that I hit. Money line slip right here. Bonus bet. Free cash. That slip I already showed you. Keon Coleman over two and a half receptions. That was a lean of mine. So I went super light on that. Jaden Daniels over 81 and a half rush. Uh, Stafford 250 plus cut 50 low little, little uh, what was that like a 2x or something or a little bit less a little bit less than a 2x Monty anytime touchdown overtime overtime cash bro that's that's fucking funny uh Kyron and cup touchdown slip that shit was fire and then James Cook so really really good day but let's get into these props I, I'm already been eight minutes of yapping so I'll try to make it quick I have two props one's prize picks one's DraftKings. so uh they're both on the same team, so you can't pair them, and they're not on the same app anyway because they're different on Prize Picks. Um, at least the the pair the play on DraftKings is already bumped on Prize Picks, so well I'll show you that. But the first prop is going to be Ayuk under seven receiving targets. My Prize Picks is like glitched right now; it's not loading up. Uh, so I have a picture of it right here. Ayuk under seven receiving receiving targets. So let's get into the write up for that one. You pull it up on my second monitor. Um, so he's push slash under this line in 11 of 11 of 16 games last season when Debo, Kittle, CMC are all playing. So when Debo, Kittle, CMC are all playing, he's gone under this. He's pushed or gone under this line in 69% of games. But the hit rate is not the sole reason of why we are playing this. The big reason that we are playing this is because Ayuk has held out of camp for a while. He just got a contract extension very, very recently. So due to this, head coach Kyle Shanahan said that Ayuk will be limited in this week one game. So Ayuk will not even see his usual for full workload. This is great for this under because he's already gone under this game in 69% of games when everybody's healthy, right? Last season, he went under 69% of games with all those guys healthy. So not only has he gone under this line with a full workload, but now he's on a limited workload. So it wouldn't make sense for him to, you know, uh, go over this line with a limited workload when he's been going under this line a lot. With a help, with a full workload, you know what I mean. So the, I really like that that aspect of the prop a lot. That, that like makes makes the play for me pretty much. 
Um, this so it makes it even more enticing given that he has that limited workload tonight. This prop is already six and a half on underdog as well, so there is really good push potential value on prize picks because if he gets seven, then then we get a push and it's all right. But if you take the under on underdog, he gets seven, you chalked. You know what I mean? So it's just good value here. Um, that shows me that this is good value. Ayuk will also most likely be shadowed by Sauce Gardner for most of the game, who's probably. The best corner in the entire league. I, that might be controversial, I guess. I don't think it is, but uh, but one of the best, if not the best corner in the entire league, Sauce Gardner, should be shadowing him for most of this matchup. So it's not going to be too smart for the Niners to test Sauce in this matchup. I believe that they're going to be running a lot. I think they're going to stick to the run game a lot. The Jets are really, really good in the past, past defense game. Um, and, and it's just not smart to test Sauce Gardner, especially with Ayuk, who's really good, but he's on a limited workload. So it just doesn't really make sense that they would be, you know, spamming him with targets. Um, so Ayuk will probably be used mostly as a decoy here. It probably won't get too many routes, probably won't get too many targets. That's what I'm expecting. So I like this under a lot. And Ayuk does have pop-off potential, right? He can turn a catch into like 30 yards. So I, that's why I feel like targets under is safer than like taking his yards under. Uh, for example, because you know he can he can catch one catch and it's 50 yards. You know what I mean. So, uh, this feels safer than taking a yards under. So Brandon Ayuk under seven targets. Now let's get into the DraftKings slip or prop real quick. I like that for half a unit. The Ayuk one in the DraftKings prop that I'm going to be posting is Purdy under 31 and a half pass attempts. So this is already at 31.0. So just straight flat 31. On prize pick, so there is some value here on DraftKings under 31 and a half, and it's only minus 130. So really, really good odds here. Let me show you this hit rate, guys. When CMC, Debo, Kittle, and Ayuk are all healthy and active and playing, Purdy has gone under this line in 12 out of 13 regular season games last year, with all four of those guys healthy. I think that's a crazy hit, right? Under in 12 out of 13 regular season games last season with CMC, Debo, Kittle, IU, Kelty. So if I pull, um, if I pull up his uh, hit rate real quick, I go to Purdy under pass attempts, under 31 pass attempts, and I go to games with player, and I go to Debo. That is not Debo. Debo, Kittle, IU, and Christian McCaffrey. You will see here, you're going to see three games at the end right here. These are playoff games. Green Bay, Detroit, and Kansas City were all playoff games. I'm not including playoff games because obviously this is not a playoff game. So if you exclude these three games right here, these are the uh, the 13 games regular season last year that he played with all four of those guys healthy. He's gone under in 12 out of 13 games, regular season games last year with all those guys healthy. Again, last year game logs do not mean much. That's why week one is so unpredictable because we're going off of last year data. It's just, you know, it's just not accurate. It's not the most accurate, not the best thing to go off of, but that's all we have here in week one. That's why week one is always risky. That's why I'm very happy that we made out a pause that we cashed out and made some money yesterday. Holy, that might be the biggest pause of the channel. Um, but yeah, like I said, game logs uh, from last year are not the most accurate, but this just seems worth it to at least go half a unit on this. You know what I mean? Like half a unit isn't going to hurt us. Um, so I'm liking this. He's and in general, he's facing the Jets, who allowed the fourth lowest pass attempts per game to quarterbacks last year. So they're really, really good defense. Like I said, against the pass, they are mediocre against the uh, rush game, but they're very, very good against the pass game. They allowed the fourth lowest pass attempts last year. They also allowed the third least passing yards per game last year. So they just don't allow a lot of passes. And when they when teams do throw on the Jets, they're not effective. So I don't think it's going to be a big part of the game plan for the Niners, especially with Ayuk on that limited workload. Like I said, that also kind of relates to this. Like, I don't think they're going to be throwing that much. I think they're going to rely on CMC. They got Trent Williams back in the back on the team. I think they're going to rely on the run running game a lot. So um, I don't think Purdy will be throwing that much. What makes me like this prop even more is that the Jets allowed the third most rush attempts to running backs last year. This is right up the Niners' alley. The Niners had the third highest rushing play percentage in the entire NFL last year. They rushed it at a 47.92% rate last year, third most out of any team in the league. And the Jets are allowing the third most rush attempts out of any team in the league last year. So it's just perfect matchup for the Niners to just run the ball. So I don't think Purdy will be throwing it that much. And like I said, Ayuk will be a bit limited. Niners should lean on CMC in the run game a bit more than usual here. And and they already do usually lean on it, as you can tell here by this hit rate. 
Um, and it would make sense considering how good the Jets are against the pass and how they allow a ton of rushing volume. Uh, Niners should, in essence, stick to the run game primarily in this game. At least that's what I think. It's a week one. Anything can happen. But we're only going half a unit, so it's not going to be that much of a loss. So Purdy under 31 and a half pass attempts is going to be my last play of the YouTube video. I will have more plays in my Discord. Remember, guys, if you guys want every single play, you guys want to make some green slips, some money like this during NFL. We also do MLB, so take advantage. Lock in if you guys want to join. You want to get recaps like this. We made a lot. A lot of good profits today. A lot of good profits. If you guys want every single play, make sure you guys join the Discord. Link of the Discord will be in the description of this video. If you guys want to join through WAP, which is a website, it's just super easy, super secure. Uh, you automatically get added to the Discord as soon as you pay. It's $20 a month, but if you've never joined before, use code FIRST50 when you check out through WAP to get 50% off your first month. So if you join through WAP, you use that code, your first month will only be $10. You'll get all my NFL plays. You'll get all my MLB plays. So take advantage of that. Link of the WAP will be in the description of this video. Anyway, I hope we have a good day today as well. This game is a little bit risky. That's why I'm going very light because this is like two teams that I, I don't know. Like this game is very 50-50 to me. I feel like the Jets can win. I feel like the Niners can win. So I'm going very light on this game. Um, it's not like the Chiefs-Ravens game where like I was very confident in the Chiefs winning. It's is This one's a little bit shakier. So go and light on this one today, but make sure you guys join the Discord, bro. Get every single play for 30 days. You will make your money back. And it's only $10 for your first month. So just literally try it out, bro. $10 for your first month. Come try it out. That's You're going to make your $10 back and then some. In a whole month, trust me, just try it out. It's only $10. $10 fucking investment. Take advantage of that. Anyway, I'll catch you on the next video. Hopefully we have another good day. Peace.